Cheers. Cheers. Drinking. We're, we're drinking a special drink, right? Yeah, it's, it's a cocktail I created called Thai Silk. <laughs> thai Silk. It's silk. smooth as silk. It's very nice. Very it nice. is smooth wow. like silk. There you go. Well, let me tell you, you know him from Food Network's Cutthroat Kitchen. Welcome back to our home, owner of Stir Market in Los Angeles and Pack Pow <laughs> Restaurant in Dallas, <laughs> Chef Jet Tila. Is Thank you very much. Pow, pow, Always pow. great to be here. Okay. Pow, pow. And, uh, kidding, all kidding aside, <laughs> uh, Pad Thai is my favorite dish ever. Right, so I can't screw this up is what you're saying. No, please, because oh, I okay. really, really want to learn gotcha. how to make it. It's, it's a balancing act, and it's really one of the dishes that really defines Thai cooking, I think. So let, let's get right into it. Okay. You're going to do the sauces, okay. and I'm going to kind of stir fry it all together. All right. right. So Thai people basically cook in four flavors, hot, sour, salty, sweet. So dump those in. I'll say what they are. So All that's right. fish sauce, which is salty. Fish sauce. Right? Tamarind, which is sour. And you yeah. can get tamarind where? You know, Latin markets, Asian markets, really just about every neighborhood in America is close to an Asian market or a Latin market. Mm. And you can get there, no problem, right? right. And uh, lime, lime, very nice. You got this. And uh, sugar. I'm talking to the chef here. Yeah. Sugar, which is sweet. Okay. Lastly, I want you to do a little rice vinegar. So, so oh, that's okay. pad thai sauce. You just oh, made that's pad thai it? sauce. Yeah, I made a pad thai and on this sauce. Side, look at that. Uh, if I can get this done in time, so I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna talk and, and cook if you don't mind. Okay. A little bit of oil. I'm gonna go all oh. my proteins in. Go ahead, ask questions. All, all right. What kind of oil is that? All right. Always. Uh, everyone, raise your right yeah. hand real quick. Uh, I swear. I swear. So never use. Never use. Olive oil. Olive oil. Oh, in the Asian why? kitchen. In the Asian why? kitchen. Why? Asian, Asian kitchen. Why? Because uh, low temp, too much flavor. I mean, oh, like yeah. that strong olive yeah, flavor yeah. doesn't, so do doesn't really get? go. You're going to go you know, uh, high temp, low flavor, so vegetable, canola, um, anything, anything but olive oil because it's just too strong. Okay, while you do that, can I ask everybody to bring in the pad thai so you guys can enjoy it yes, while Yes, exactly. Oh, my gosh, it's now, what beautiful. Are you All you right, so it? no, I only went really fast because you know what? You never turn down the heat. You always put in things faster. So now the heat's at a point where I'm happy. Does that make sense? Okay. And I'm not losing any sear. So proteins. Shrimp, chicken, tofu. Really simple. We're catching up now. Chicken, tofu. Yeah, shrimp, okay. chicken, tofu right now. And you can uh, leave out one, add one, whatever you want to do. But um, it's kind of like, you know, like a pizza, like a pizza with all the meats in it. Uh, pad thai is kind of that version. I put all like the that. stuff in it. So everything's pretty basic now so far. Now you put far. an egg. That's more That's protein. protein. That's actually more protein. Now watch what I do. So it's called hot side, cold side. I put all the, oh, the protein against the one side. Okay. And I let the eggs just kind of okay. scramble up. Why do you do that? I don't want to over scramble it. I want the whites to look like whites. I want the yolks to look like yolks. Okay. I'm just waiting for the egg to kind of coagulate a little bit. Uh -huh. So it doesn't just look like a big mess. Well, you're Everything, right. Mine always does. Right? That's so a secret. But it don't, the don't over it does? scramble. Yeah. It doesn't taste the same. Right? Does it? It does taste the same. No, yeah. I think. I think with doing this, it kind of gives you that fried egg effect. Oh. It makes it really delicious. So oh, now the eggs are together. All right, oh. so that's easy. Anyone can do that. Here's the okay. secret, secret right here. There's a secret. These are rice stick noodles. When you soak them in water for about 30, 45 minutes, they look like this. Now, is it cold water or boiling water? I want you to do it in, in tap warm. Tap warm Think water. Think about a nice warm bath. That's it. Oh, Think yes, about a nice I see. warm bath. Does that sound okay. good? Yeah. So into the pan, I've got garlic and what's called salted radish. It's basically that long white radish that's pickled. Yeah. And this is very important too. Um, this is dried shrimp. Okay. So just regular shrimp, dried, salted. We use that for the umami, that nice, beautiful yeah. savoriness. Yeah, but it smells nasty. Does it? Ah! <laughs> Well, what do I mean? This what? is it's delicious. Yeah, okay. What are you talking about? Yeah, but I know yeah, what you're exactly. no. yeah. yeah. So if you were serving me and I was at your house, yeah. I've always wondered this. Yeah. If I dumped sriracha sauce all over this, would you be offended? <laughs> I would it's, totally it's, be offended. You would. Why? Because did you haven't even tasted my food. Exactly. I have. It's fantastic. Right. It's so, like, I can't it's take you anywhere. Exactly. Huh? I always no. I want yeah, to go to your house and put salt all over your yeah. food. That's like putting ketchup all over Italian food. I would totally be offended. Here's the good news. I would never do that because this is fantastic. Awesome, yeah, awesome. Let's Very talk cool. about these rice noodles Good save, now. by the way. Good All right. save. All right, so check it out. So the rice noodles have been soaking. Uh, I'm going to throw them in. Soak for 30, 45 minutes, but they can actually soak time. up to a few hours, right? You want to make sure okay. they get opaque. That's the most important because right. these have to be soaked perfectly, and that makes that kind of chewy, beautiful, yeah, luscious Yeah, I was wondering how that noodle gets like that. Right? I mean, that's how you had to soak it first, and now it's in there. Well, so what now, do you think, Will? I can't ask any questions because I've had food in my mouth. <laughs> okay. Delicious. There you delicious. go. Every All time right. I come here, here, you guys fatten me up. Uh, I know. Oh, That's why you love Every coming here because of the food. I know you do, Jonathan. It's, it's carb day. Okay, you yeah, made this delicious day. sauce. I did make this now sauce. Now watch. I'm going to throw that in right there. Okay. Now, um, you, now here's another learning point, right? When we first made pad thai in the 60s, we used paprika because yeah. we wanted that red color but not a lot of spice. Right. Nowadays, everyone likes heat. Who likes heat go. here? Raise your hand. Love it. Guess All what right. that is? Heat. Sriracha. Guess That's what it right. is, bro. Uh -huh. Sriracha. Uh -huh. 
sriracha. So again, <laughs> yeah. yeah, right? I'm just gonna dump sriracha everywhere. Okay. Why do you not talk like food? a meat? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what you sound like. <laughs> Yeah, and I like a little bit of I like a little bit of paprika for a little bit of color, <laughs> and um, all I'm doing here is waiting for the noodles to absorb all the sauce. Ooh. And I'm going to teach you a secret. Um, you know this. We use Italians use pasta water to tighten up yeah. their sauces, right? Right. We can use pasta water to tighten up oh, our sauces as well. Yeah. So. Well, what do you mean by tighten it up? What happened to the the sauce? So there? what happens is sometimes uh, your your wok is so hot that you 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 speed like you evaporate all the sauce. Oh sure. But the yeah. flavor's there. You just want to bring more moisture moisture back in, mm -hmm. so that's why you want to bring a little pasta water. Okay, the right? pasta water is the, little... it's the water that the pasta is cooked in. Yeah, correct? it's nice yeah. and starchy. Okay. So last time, guys, raise your right hand, I swear. I swear. To taste my food, to taste taste my food. before yeah. I serve it. Before, before I serve it. Oh, well, yeah, that's well. like a no-brainer. Uh, but you know what, I judge all these Food Network shows, and the number one problem uh, people have is they don't taste their food and they don't salt it enough. So oh. it's kind of wonky, right? It's easier though to yeah. salt it afterwards yes, than to correct. take the salt yeah. out of it, right? Exactly. It's and, too salty. Yeah. and you have that perfect moment while it's cooking yeah. to salt it so you disperse all that beautiful saltiness. Right. If you do it over the top, it's uneven and it's a little too salty okay. in my opinion. Yep. I thought my sauce was a little too tight. Right. Yeah. Why is it too tight? Tight. 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 Yeah. Maybe right. it's not built. Maybe it's not built. This is the right. home and family show. <laughs> How about you know? Show. What Your pad thai is so good that oh. Jonathan made me look out there and I, I fell for it. I looked <laughs> and I looked over and he was stealing my shrimp. Oh, I love no. it. Oh, sure. That is not you. Nothing of the sort. <laughs> so again, this is one of my <laughs> family. <laughs> Favorite dishes. My daughter eats this all the time, and I brought a photo in Aww. of my daughter oh, eating this dish. She She's two and a half okay. right now, okay. and you have a, you have another photo of her actually oh, eating you know, a beauty. Two-year-old with chopsticks. Look at that. Oh, my so God. that's Amaya, and Allison's my amazing wife, and. Uh, so there we go. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to plate this. So um, another pro tip, since we have a little time, you always wanna look at the bottom of the pan. Uh, For what? Before that, if you, want it, you want it moist, but you don't want it wet okay. and saucy. Does that make sense? Yes. So as you stir this around, that looks perfect to me. I, there's not a pool no. in there, but no. it's still, it's nice, still and nice and moist. So there you go. I'm gonna I'm gonna plate that oh up. Oh God, I'm still taking this. It looks this delicious. Home. Wow. Look at that. Wow. A little okay. bit of garnish. You, some thai chilies in there if you, you want to totally it. can. You can uh, put some Thai chilies over the top for you heat heads out yeah. there. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's better than it. just dumping a bunch of sriracha on top. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I'm just messing with you, man. Yeah. Authenticity, there wow, you go. Wow, it's hot. So, By the uh, way, I won. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Yeah, I thought, thought I was using wow. chopsticks. And uh, to wash yeah. that down, I made a cocktail called Thai Silk. It's one of my favorites. Oh, this was delicious. Basically, so pineapple good. rum, sake, mm. and some kaffir lime garnish. Oh, yeah. Is that the chewing thing? Oh, I like that. It's so delicious. hot. I mean, no, it was oh, hot. you but poor boy, thing. But boy, this is authentic pad thai. This is so delicious. Oh.